everyone to the second part of our captain's press conference. Joining us now we have Susie Bates, captain of the Falcons, and Stefani Payne, captain of the Tornadoes. Welcome both. So Susie, how has training been going? What's it been like the last couple of days? Lots going on. Yeah, we had a late training last night under lights at the stadium, which was pretty cool. And just to get out and train with everyone. And um, this morning we were tested in the Dubai heat at 10 o'clock. So um, it was pretty hot, but it's just really nice to get out and train. Um, Steph and I have had a bit of a break since the World Cup. So it's nice to get back into some cricket with some very excited players from all around the world. And Steph, you're used to the heat, so that's not a problem for you. Oh no, not not happy with the heat, are we? But how's training been going with the tornadoes? Oh, I, I, it's been really good. Um, I prefer a night night training today, <laughs> like last night. Um, yeah, it's really hot. It's not that, it's not this hot in in Jamaica, so yeah, I'm not really used to this kind of heat. No. Yeah, and so Susie, what can we expect from the Falcons? What's things looking like so far? Obviously, you've not had that much time to gel yet as a squad, but come together and you sort of get thrown in. What's that been like for everyone? Yeah, it's been nice just to get to know everyone off the field, um, you know, get to know where people are from and how they got into cricket. And I'm just really excited to see some of the players that I've never played against. Um, I faced um, Anju from Bhutan in the nets today, the little left arm seamer, and I'm excited about what she has to offer. And Tita from UAE as well looks like a very exciting young player. So. Uh, you know, we've got Marazan Cap and Danny White, who we know are world class, but the most exciting thing is to see what those other players can do at this level, and um, those are two that I've got my eye on as captain. Um, we have a question coming from Fido Munda from ESPN Crick Info. So, firstly, I'll give it to you, Stefani. Um, he would like to ask both captains what the challenges are in putting together a team of players from different countries. Oh, I, I guess that's why you have training. So, you know, you get to look at um, the players and you try to, you know, fit them in into that slot where you, you, you know, think is suitable. And I find we have a good bunch of players. It's probably going to be really hard to select an 11. Yeah, and the same question for you, Susie. Yeah, I'd agree. I think selection's the hardest thing being a captain, and especially on this side, it's trying to give everyone an opportunity to perform where their strengths are and getting to know the players as soon as possible and giving everyone an opportunity to perform. So that's going to be the toughest part um, with these sides and getting to know the players as quickly as possible. Yeah, and you've obviously all come from, it's been such a different journey for everyone to get where they are. Is it nice to sort of hear how people got involved in their cricket and what it is that they need to train? And almost you can pick up different things from different people who've had opportunities there for you and think, oh, actually, I'm going to adopt a bit of that into my training. Yeah, it is just a really nice reminder of why we all started to play cricket and everyone's journey is different, um, but also there's lots of similarities. We, as young players, just love the game. A lot of us had older brothers. Hopefully now it's younger sisters influencing their siblings to play the game. But, yeah, it's just, I guess, as a New Zealander as well, you're really grateful for the opportunities that you do get, and I'm just really pleased that... We have this global tournament now for we've got a player from Papua New Guinea to have this opportunity is just really cool. Yeah, and Stefani, do you feel that this fair break has a bit of a different feel to those kind of really intense World Cup situations you've all been in recently? And like sometimes this is you've just got that sort of friendship, you've got the bands between teams, you've got different countries all playing together. Is it got a bit of a different feel to other things you've played in? Yeah, definitely. I think at World Cup you you're probably a bit more intense and here is a bit more relaxed and um, it's not just about us as top players, but also getting you know other players involved. So I think that's you know really exciting. Um, the same question to you, Susie, about you know just what's the feel like in this tournament? Yeah, it is very relaxed, and obviously everyone's got friends in the opposition. But I think once the games actually start, it'll be interesting to see how competitive everyone gets when we get out on the field. Because I know there's some very competitive people and. Um, these teams so I think once we get started maybe that vibe will change a little bit and everyone will be out there to win. Yeah and so we'll wrap it up here but just the last question for both of you what is it that your team is going to bring that's going to mean you come away with this stunning trophy that people see today? <laughs> Stefani you're going first. Um, my team is quite interesting um, 
you know, having different players in, 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 in the team. Um, I think Diana would definitely bring that vibe, you know, she's practicing the tornado, tornado so probably get a lot of that when she, you know, takes wickets. Um, so, yeah, that would be good. Um, but other than that, the girls are a bit quiet, um, so try to get them out of the shell. Try not to impose too much, but um, I think because they're so shy that, um, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, try and get them out. But um, but yeah, it's a good bunch, very vibey, and yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the tournament. And what are the Falcons going to bring? Why are they going to win? Well, we're going to compete with um, Diana's celebration, and we're going to have the best wicket celebrations. That's the Falcon, if you didn't know, um, of the tournament. And I think what I've seen from lots of the players is just the athleticism in the field. Um, Noi Tipok from Thailand moves extremely well, so we've got some Thailand players, so we're going to bring a lot of athleticism in the field, and maybe I can just hang out at finally. <laughs>